I've just done something crazy and maybe even just a little bit stupid. You could be the judge of that. I've just bought a new car. Yep, that's right. The RAV4 is no more. It is completely gone out of the picture and I've traded it in for this little bad boy. This was a decision I made for both my personal life and my business. Let me show you around and then I'll tell you exactly why I decided to make this move. So what car is it I hear you ask? Well, let me show you. The car I decided to go with guys is the 2015 Toyota Yaris. This little thing is eight years old. However, it's only got 30,000 kilometers on it. So it's barely been touched. Complete full service history, extremely nippy very very good in traffic and it's actually got a fair bit of room inside of it this little thing is so good on fuel it drinks less than half of what my rav4 did this thing drinks around about six to six and a half liters per 100 kilometers a little bit more in town of course sitting around that seven and a half to eight mark but my rav4 was drinking around about 14 so i'm really really happy with this change so let's go have a quick look so here's the front, nice little head unit in there. There's so much space in here. Such a small little hatchback, you wouldn't think would have any space at all, but there is just a ton of space in here. There's actually more room in the front of this than there was in the front of my RAV4. So I'm really, really happy with how much room and how much accommodation this little thing actually has. And in the back seats, honestly, it's actually pretty good in here as well. There's still plenty of leg room in there. These aren't gonna be used that much, but there's definitely heaps of space in there for a little hatchback. I don't know what you're thinking. Oh, there'd be absolutely no room in the boot. Well, you'd be wrong. If we come around here to the boot and I can open it. Look at all that room, plenty of room. There's my postage bag, just got the post done absolutely heaps of room in there plenty to put all my thrifted finds so i haven't actually spoken much about my old car my old car was a 2007 toyota rav4 had about 250,000 k's on it and really it was starting to near the end of its life it was drinking a lot of petrol had a lot of mechanical issues that were starting to pop up and i just thought it was time that i needed to buy something that was really good on fuel still had plenty of room really nice to drive and that wasn't going to have any issues at all i didn't want to buy a brand new car because you know loses most of its value as soon as you drive it out the door. But this little thing, only 30,000 kilometers, it's basically new. There is nothing, absolutely nothing that this thing has wrong with it. Full service history, not a scratch on it. So I'm really, really happy with this little pickup. So yeah, apart from the mechanical issues, the main reason I ended up getting this is just for the fuel. I do a hell of a lot of driving, going to and from supermarket, you know, everyday stuff, but also to different op shops, different towns for marketplace pickups all sorts of different things. I'm always on the road. So I really needed something that was good on fuel, especially with how high the fuel prices are. See, I just wanted to make this quick little video just to show you, it's not just a personal pickup, it's for the business. It's gonna allow me to be able to cut down a lot of my costs, allow me to go a lot more places because I'm not gonna be as stressed about fuel, not gonna be as stressed about maintenance because this thing is extremely cheap to maintain as well. So I'm really happy with it. Super duper happy to be able to share it with you guys. And yeah, that's about it guys. One thing I will ask of you guys though, if you did enjoy this video, please go and check out my last trip to the op shops video. It's a really good one. We found some really great stuff. I know you're gonna love it. So head over there, have a squeeze, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy reselling.